two separate windows. So if you're interested, keep watching. Right, it's in two steps. First, I have to simulate the data from various distributions. Then I draw the histogram and the QQ, normal QQ plot. The command to generate from distribution is very easy in this package R. We use the R followed by the name of the distribution command. So here R norm generates random variables from the normal distribution, 10,000 observations with a mean of 0 and standard deviation of 2. No, it's standard deviation, not variance. Enter, I'm calling that object sim n. And then I do a similar thing. I simulate from a chi square, command for that is r chi sq for chi square. 10,000 observations, degree of freedom, so the parameter for a chi square is the degree of freedom. I set it to 6. You can try different numbers, you know, it doesn't really matter so much. We know that a chi square is positive skew, so this is a positive skew. Now to get a negative skew, I do a minus of the chi square. So there you go, so I create another very object sim chi 2 which is going to be negatively skewed. And sim t finally, this is rt to simulate from a t distribution, 10,000 observations, degree of freedom is the parameter for a t, I've set to 20. Okay. If you want to see any of these, uh, what's contained in these objects, we just type the name in, so sim t gives the list of all the actual figures in there. So that's quite, that's 10,000 numbers, alright? That's uh, can't really make sense of that and that's where plots come in. First I want to set my up my graphics window. I'm going to set it up split it up into um, two by two. I'm going to arrange the figures by row. Blank window comes up. Next I'm asking it now to draw on that graphics window a histogram for my um, variable which I simulated from normal distribution, sim n, and I've got a title for it. I'm calling it symmetric distribution, and the x axis I just want it to leave blank, so I'll just uh, that question mark with nothing in it. Enter. There you go. First one, top left, with the title and x no x axis. Next thing I want is now the a normal QQ plot, the command for that is QQ norm, followed by the name of the variable. So that's what I want. Time enter, and then if you go to the graphics window now, there it appears. At this point, there is no line. Um, a line could help you to judge whether the dots deviate much from the from what expected from the normal QQ plot. To put the line in, we put in the QQ line. And here you go, the line, you just barely see it underneath there. I'm going to do the same for the other two. So for the next two below it, I'm going to do a histogram of the T, which is uh, has fatter tails than the normal, and the QQ norm, QQ line, there. So that's my first set, two by two arranged by row first, one, two, three, four. Nice. Now, if I want a different window so that I can keep this window, because if I don't, you know, it's, I'm not going to be able to keep these four on the same page, I need to set up a new graphics window without deleting this one. And the way to do that is to use the man Windows. Took me uh, quite a while. I didn't know the existence of this command till right. So here you go. New window activated, but keeping our old window as well really good and then I'm gonna set up like before the the uh, set up the graphics window 2x2 two two, I'm gonna draw them notice what I'm doing is that I'm already got the commands in some uh, in, well I've got it in an editor notepad here and I paste them in um, why that's a good idea is just in case you make any errors when you type things directly in here uh, if you, then your code here is a bit of a mess, but if you have it down here, you can just edit things quickly and then paste it in, and then everything, all the codes here, you can keep. But 
if you're going to be perfect at coding, you can type all the code in and virtually and then send, save it as a history file if you want to reuse it. All right, and then that, that should that gives us our two sets of graphs. Okay, this is one of them. Now, if you can't see the other one, notice this beginners kind of beginners kind of questions. Is that yeah? Look, you look for the little windows because some of them might be minimized. So don't think they don't exist. They're hid, probably hidden somewhere. So you've got loads of windows. Some of them could be hidden behind other things. So there you go. Nice, isn't it? So now you've got the commands. You can try changing the parameters a bit and see what happens. The main thing is you can see what shapes to expect for the basic shapes of distributions. Okay, so that's it for the normal QQ plot.